We are working with a radical function. Because the index is 2, index is here, 2, because the index is even, we need the radicand to be non-negative. That is, we need negative 4 minus 2x to be greater than or equal to 0. So we will solve this inequality, add 4 to both sides, that will give us negative 2x greater than or equal to 4, divide both sides by negative 2, and remember that when we divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number or multiply both sides by a negative number, we must reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. So, negative 2x divided by 2 is x, negative, oops, here we go, 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. That's the solution set for the inequality, and that is the domain of this function. To express the domain using interval notation, I think it helps to first graph it. That's a number line, not as straight as it can be, but it works. Somewhere here is negative 2, and we're looking at all x values to the left of negative 2, including negative 2. So, these numbers here, including the number negative 2. I think it's easier now to see the interval notation of the solution set negative infinity to negative 2. Close that negative 2 because negative 2 is part of the solution set, open at negative infinity.